you know, bars, uh, bullions, stuff like that. Welcome to episode seven of What the Bitcoin. Nicholas. Nicholas, how are we doing this morning? We're doing pretty good. Hey, so this morning I walked up, a uh, beautiful truck, I might say. I can appreciate a, a working class man in the early morning here. Yes, sir. Hey, so uh, this morning I was asking you some questions about Bitcoin. What do you have to say about Bitcoin off the top of your head? I don't know anything about it right now until, until you first one to tell me about it. I really, uh, I do collect coins. I do collect organs and peace dollars and silver coins and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, a lot of dimes and quarters, everything's silver. Just have them like uh, displayed or do you keep them in storage or? I keep them in the safe. There we go. <laughs> I've been collecting coins all my life. You gotta do is turn to the side and look at the silver, silver coins. Those are the ones that you need to keep. Some coins are not all 90% silver, some are 40% silver, but you have to have them checked. Go like one of these coins or the Houston coin place over there downtown or whatever. But yes, and I do collect a lot of star notes, you know, silver certificates, uh, stuff like that. Coin that you, that you like fell in love with, would you yeah, say? It was the Benjamin Franklin, also <laughs> the Mercury Dime, 1916. That Mercury Dime is the most expensive dime now. So you have to really kind of do your research and all these coins. We talked about Bitcoin originally. I described it marginally to you. Uh, I, I you know, I had a, I had a, a postman at one time, like years ago. Hey man, uh, yeah, the case of market. You know, you need to start collecting silver and, and silver and gold for the for the metal. You know. Uh, but I've been doing it like I said all my life. So do you think Bitcoin has a similar premise to this new? I'm not really, I'm not really sure. You know. Uh, but I will uh, tap into it and, and look it up here in a little bit, you know, so. Uh, Bitcoin for coins in general, uh, investing, uh, money. Just invest in your silver and gold as much as you can. You know, bars, uh, bullions, stuff like that. So that's the only thing I can, you know, advise you to do, so. Look, when, you, uh, when you're walking around getting a lot of change in coins, look at your money. Look for the star note with a bunch of zeros on it across there. Like I got a uh, dollar bill with number sevens on it. Hey, Nicholas, any any parting notes for us today with, with your Monday morning? Not really, just normally, uh, just, what's wrong, man? Let's get back to the run. <laughs> what are we doing here? But anyway. Awesome, hey, Nicholas. You have a good one. Hey, I appreciate it very much. Have you heard anything about Bitcoin, Maria? No, not on the media or anything at all? So you've not heard of Bitcoin? Hey, good morning, Jesse. Beautiful morning. bike. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. Hey, so I was asking you this morning about Bitcoin. What do you think about it? I, my wife is in the banking business and um, we really don't know that much about Bitcoin. At least I don't. But, wow. Yeah. Does she talk about her clients asking about it at all? Yeah. or? No, not at all. Not at all. And Jesse, when's the first time you guys heard about Bitcoin? Uh, probably a year or two ago, I guess. Yeah, so about 2018, yeah. 2019. Yeah. And what did you hear about it? Um, not a whole lot. I Personally, I think it's kind of like a scam, but that's just me personally. Yeah, so if you had to lean to a scam or it being a good investment, you'd be on the side that it's uh, a scam. Right. Who do you think would be running the scam? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like... Yeah. Any other type of pyramid scams. So. so a pyramid scheme scam. Okay. And then Jesse, what do you think the future of Bitcoin looks like for society? I don't know. I'm hearing more and more positive things about it, but I'm still not interested. Okay. And then this is a real out there outlandish question, but any chance that Bitcoin's God? Jesse? I don't know. I don't I don't think much about it. Okay. About it. Yeah. And do you think you'll do any research after speaking today about Bitcoin or are you just gonna get on with your ride? I'll probably just get on with my ride. I'm I'm actually semi-retired, so I already have all my money invested. In hey. I don't want to dip it into Bitcoin and yeah. risk losing it. So. Well, Jesse, give me, give me one of these real quick. Oh, no hey, congrats on the early retirement, all man. Right. Thank you. And congrats on the allocated funds and, and not having to have the heartache. Right, I appreciate it. Joshua, your name? Lyle. Hey, can you, let's join your, join sure. me with your bike over here. I, I'd like to get your bike in the back. If yeah, you, can. you bet. So is Lyle? Yep. Hey, Lyle, good morning. How's good your morning. ride so far? So far is good. We're getting ready to go do a lot of miles. 
So How many miles? What do you think? About 150, 160, yeah. something like that? Yeah. yeah Heck yeah. That. About how many hours of a ride is that? Probably about five. Five hours. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, Lyle, this morning I'd just like to ask you a couple of questions sure. about Bitcoin. Sure. Do you have any initial thoughts Bitcoin? about it? Yeah. Oh, well, I haven't thought about that in a while. Oh, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's gained in money. I know that much. Okay. I mean, When's the last? Know. Last I heard, like eighteen thousand dollars or something. Okay, and yeah. about how many years ago was that? You Last think? Last year, probably. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This morning when I checked, it was trading at about fifty-five thousand a coin. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. That's good. So, what do you think about Bitcoin? Do you think it's uh, a scam, or do you think it's a good investment? It's not my investment. It's not something I would invest in. But I definitely see it. I mean, it has a profitability to it. Okay. So I think once they really get things worked out, how to convert it over into real money, then it'll really go through the roof. Okay. And but so you think it has a future, more or less? I think it does. Okay. I think of the currency that's out there, definitely the, with the cryptocurrency. Okay. And who do you think owns Bitcoin? Like I think everybody owns Bitcoin. Everybody. Yes. The, the whole you know, slew of different people. Buying it in the whole nine yards. Okay, right. and Lyle, what do you think uh, the future price of Bitcoin looks like? Uh, uh, I think it's not going to stay where it's at. I think when it does become regular, it'll probably come down to a more normal range. Okay. I mean, if it does keep going, that's amazing. But you know. Okay. Lyle, any plans on purchasing Bitcoin yourself? No, not of me. Do you not think me. you'll do any research after speaking today? No, not at all. Just going to get on with your 150 we'll mile. Uh, yep, we got to see another girl right here. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, hey, Lyle, thank yeah. you so much thank for your you, time. Joshua. Joshua. Hey, yeah, nice to thanks, meet you. Man. That was episode seven of What the Bitcoin. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I ask that you guys do subscribe, watch this next video, as well as participate in the comment section down below. I really enjoy making this content for you guys. And uh, with the community growing along with me, we could really start to make some pretty great. I appreciate a, a working class man in the early morning here. Coin yes, that you like fell in love with, would you say? It's the bridge of Franklin. Also the Mercury Dime, 1916. That Mercury Dime is the most expensive dime now. So you have to really kind of do your research on all these coins. You know, bars, uh, bullion, stuff like that. Uh, I, you know, I had a, I had a uh, postman at one time, like years ago, hey man, uh, yeah, case the market, you know, you need to start collecting silver and pay the silver and gold for the, for the metal, you know. You gotta go turn to the side and look at the silver, silver coins. Those are the ones that you need to keep. Some coins are not all 90% silver, some are 40% silver. Uh, but I've been doing it, I can say it all my life. Who do you think will be running the scam? I don't know, it's just like yeah. any other type here. So a pyramid scheme scam. Okay, and then Jesse, what do you think the future of Bitcoin looks like for society? I don't know, I'm hearing more and more positive things about it, but I'm still not interested. Okay, and then this is a real out there outlandish question, but any chance that Bitcoin's gone? Jesse?